Hi, it's Lance, and happy Friday. It's Friday, April 3rd, 2020, and uh, today's topic is cash. You know, cash is king in every economy. Uh, it's certainly going to remain king during this uh, economic time, uh, times of un economic uncertainty, and as we go into this downturn, and uh, with regards to real estate prices and the economy overall, cash is what people need. And so we're talking to apartment owners right now. I've been talking about the shift from a seller's market to a buyer's market. Let me share with you a conversation that we had yesterday with a seller. This is going on all across the country, or an owner of an apartment building. Uh, the lady owns six doors, six unit small apartment building. It's worth, let's say, $250,000. She has a small mortgage on it, balance of $50,000 but she's still carrying the original mortgage note when she, when she originally bought it. And five of the six tenants cannot pay. She's, she's kind of upset. Uh, some are using the word panic, doesn't know what to do. And she has a mortgage payment due. So, but she wants to get rid of the property. She wants to get rid of the property. And so the one way to approach it, for example, is, um, could buy the property. We can buy the property. Of course, tenants aren't going to be paying us either. They can't pay, but it's a nice property in a nice area. It's going to, it's going to bounce back. So a simple offer could be you have $200,000 of equity in the property. You have an existing mortgage. We'll buy the property subject to the existing mortgage. We'll give you a little bit of cash for your equity and certainly give you enough cash to carry you through, um, let's say the next 90 days until things settle down. And then we will commence monthly payments for your equity as part of also continuing payments on your underlying bank mortgage. So what we're doing is making payments on the bank mortgage, giving her some cash up front, and committing to feed her equity or give her monthly payments for her equity, but not until sometime down the road until things have stabilized. So what we've accomplished for her is taking the debt relief, giving her debt relief. We're going to take care of the mortgage. Uh, she's going to get some cash, which she needs for her living expenses. And she will continue to have a passive income stream even after this situation stabilizes because uh, of the monthly payment we're giving her for her equity. We take over ownership of the property. Now, how are we gonna, how are we gonna make the mortgage payments? How are we gonna give her cash up front? Well, because of cash, right? Our own cash reserves, or in case of so many people, raising other people's money. And let's think about it. You have an asset with $200,000 of equity that you can borrow against private money and provide a return secured by real estate with high um, protection because you're going to have adequate loan to value where you can raise that money easily. And it'd be low cost money, low interest money. Where would that money come from? I tell you where I'd go first, self-directed IRA investor. A single self-directed IRA investor to loan you $150,000 against the $200,000 in equity and pay them a single digit return. So that, that is one sample of the type of deals that are occurring and are going to continue occurring in the small apartment sector with mom and pop owners on great properties that are normally cash flowing properties, but because of this disruption in the economy have created the window of opportunity and people need help because they're short of cash. So that's why I say cash is king so many other ways to leverage it. That's why I'm going to be hosting a webinar next week, how to raise cash during scary times. Look for that email invitation uh, coming out next week. Have a great weekend, everyone. Goodbye.